hours and hours of preparation for this hour. There's a word coming for somebody from the book of Psalm 138. There's a word for somebody in verses 7 and 8. And here's a word for somebody somewhere. Though you walk through trouble. Though I walk in the midst of trouble. God is about to revive you. And God is about to stretch forth his hands against the rot of your enemies. And his right hand shall deliver you, shall save you. There's another word for somebody. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Lift your hands and declare the Lord will perfect that which concerneth his servant. The blessings of the Lord is already upon this service. We bless you. In the name of the Lord, whoever you are and wherever you are, we're so glad you have tuned our direction this week. The broadcast is called Revival Time. If you're not ready for revival, turn it off. But if you're ready for revival, turn up the volume. Because revival time is coming right at you. From the beautiful island of Jamaica. From the old capital, Spanish town. Each week you're tuned at the same time to the broadcast called Revival Time. God has assigned us with a specific order to give the wind a mighty voice. We came back down, we came back up, and we can't give up. The command is to go forward. So by means of 21st century technology, by means of this door that God has opened to us from our flagship station, Base FM 100, out of Kingston, Jamaica. We're going to take you deep into an old-fashioned Holy Ghost. Hand clapping, foot stamping, devil destroying, hell wrenching, praise, celebration. Worship him in the house. Go ahead and praise him in the house. Go ahead and worship him in the house. Go ahead and praise him in the house. Go ahead and praise him in the house. Go ahead and worship him in the house. For he alone is worthy. Open up your mouth and tell him he alone, he alone is worthy. All our friends that have joined us on the world wide way, we celebrate you, we love you so much and thank you. Call a friend and tell him revival time. Or her revival time is on the air. Let's go deep into worship as our worship leader takes us into a time of celebration and praise. Join us for our opening song today. For he alone is worthy to worship and adore. Come on now. To, to worship and adore. He's alive.
worship you. And so we're thankful to Almighty God for this time of worship. And we thank God for our radio family and our internet family who have joined us week after week all around the world for revival time. Some of you have received the pre-recorded broadcast and some of you join us live. We're so happy and thankful for you all across the country. I meet people and they're thankful for revival time. It is not us, it is him and for him and by him. There is no good that we have done but because of his righteousness so we stand today in the righteousness and in the holiness of God declaring that Jesus is Lord put your hands together and give the wind a mighty voice the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run it in and are safe the blessings of the Lord be upon you radio family the listeners viewers on the net, and the saints of God here at Temple of Praise. We salute you in that name, the name that is above all other names, and that is the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for joining us for another Holy Ghost release. Indeed, it's always a blessing hearing from you week after week. Continue to write us here at Revival Time, P.O. Box 261 Spanish Stones in Catherine, Jamaica. That's Revival Time, P.O. Box 261 Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica. For international family, you can write us at P.O. Box 340844, Rushdale Village, New York, 11434. That's P.O. Box 340844, Rushdale Village, New York, 11434. Our prayer lines remain 757-2749. That's 757-2749. Or 865-PRAY. That's 865-7729. Or 865-4357. That's 865-HELP. Text us at 354-6269. That's 354 Six two six nine for international family. Be reminded that there's a special line for you, and you can call us free of cost from anywhere in USA at three four seven nine four four six three three one. That's three four seven nine four four six three three one. Email us at revival time seven zero at hotmail dot com. Email us at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. Visit our website at revivaltime.webs.com. That's revivaltime.webs.com. We pause to celebrate some of our listeners from Clarendon. 
Eunice, Maxine, Anne-Marie, Raquel, and Munchi. May I encourage you to keep focus on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of your faith. The Lord will be with you in your situation. And may I remind you that the situation that you're going through, it is only for a while. We bless the Lord for our listeners from Manchester, Shauna, Rose, Miss Fletcher, Livingston, Petrona, and family. I declare you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. We salute some of our listeners from St. Elizabeth, Denise, Howard, Sharon, Dulce, Tashoya. Be strong, be encouraged, be not afraid, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. We celebrate some of our listeners from St. Catherine, Yannick, Gloria, Carmen, Yvonne, Howard. May I say to you that in every fiery furnace, there is a fourth man. For every Jericho wall, there is a shout. And for every prayer you pray, there is surely going to be an answer. Special greetings to Pastor Castle, Pastor Scott, the ministers and saints at the Linstead Assembly, Minister Ferron, the ministers and saints at the Maypen Assembly. If you haven't heard your names this week, we have not forgotten you. Be reminded that we are praying and we will continue to pray for you until victory comes. God bless you richly. Stay tuned to the rest of our service and be blessed. Praise, give the Lord a mighty praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our prayer partner. Thank you for supporting this broadcast, today's broadcast. It's destined to be a blessing to you. It's destined to release you into your destiny. So stay tuned and be blessed. Heaven, not only is it sounding, but it's getting closer. Heaven is getting sweeter, sounding sweeter all the time. Just seem like lately. It's just always on my mind. Be blessed today by our evangelist Scully as she brings this wonderful song to your attention. Heaven, sounding sweeter. Be blessed. Life has been so good, I can't complain. When I ask, Lord, give me strength to rise again. When I'm relieved of the struggle. I undergo How I listen How I listen To his call Heaven Sounding sweeter All the time My Lord Seems like lately It's 
always on my mind. Someday I'm gonna leave this world behind. Cause heaven is sounding sweeter over time. today the word of the Lord is coming to us it's a fresh word somebody say fresh word and fresh bread fresh fire fresh fuel the word of the Lord is coming to us from the second book of Samuel second Samuel chapter 19 we'll put in at verses 15 and 17 and then we'll go to 24 and 31 2 Samuel 19, 15 and 17 and 24, then 31. Shall we stand for the word, please? So the king returned and came to Jordan. Somebody say Jordan. And Judah came to Gilgal to go to meet the king, to conduct the king over Jordan. Verse 16. And Shimei, 
the son of Jira, a Benjamite, which was of Berhem, hasted and came down with the men of Judah to meet King David. Tell somebody I'm getting ready to meet the king. And there were a thousand men of Benjamin with him and Ziba, Ziba the servant of the house of Saul and his 15 sons and his 20 servants with him and they came over Jordan to meet the king. Oh God Almighty. And Mephibosheth, the son of Saul, came down to meet the king and had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard nor washed his clothes from the day the king departed until the day he came again in peace. The word of the Lord. Verse 31. And Barzillian, the Gileadite, came down from Rogelim, 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 and went over Jordan with the king to conduct him over Jordan. Somebody said the word of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and said, I'm getting ready to meet the king. Tell somebody else, I'm getting ready. Talk with an attitude and tell them, I'm getting ready to meet with the king. Today, brothers and sisters, on revival time, I'm extremely happy, blessed, privileged, and anointed to release another word on revival time. Standing in for the bishop today and taking the load from off of my shoulder and making life just a little bit easier for me is the tallest of my son. He comes to us today from Atlanta, Georgia. My distinguished pleasure and privilege to bring to the microphone Pastor Dr. Anthony Blackwood with his message entitled, How Will You Meet the King? Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all may be seated in the house of God. Amen. Thank the Lord. We are happy today to be in this house. And uh, I hear Bishop always say, in this house, favor grows on you. Amen. So we have a lot of favor trees in here. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm excited today to be in Spanish Town Revival Time. Amen. And to see you uh, all the happy and the sweet and the nice and the gorgeous and the beautiful and the elegant faces that are in the house today. All the worshipers of God and more so. Amen. I want to greet Dr. Cooper and uh, Missionary Cooper, Sister Scully and Minister. God bless you today. Good to see you again. Uh, uh, Pastor Smiley, God bless you. Amen. And my friend Kayla who came with me, drove me here to Spanishtown. God bless you. And all those who are listening today. Amen. On the broadcast, God bless you. Want to bring you greetings from a live Christian center. Amen. In, at, in Marietta, Georgia, where I happen to be the servant there. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am glad that I can serve the Lord. How many are glad today with me? Amen. Are we all happy today? Yes. Happy that you're in church. Are you happy that you're saved? Amen. Praise the Lord. That's a double happy right there. Because you could have been in the grave unhappy. H Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I'm thanking God that I have the opportunity, amen, to release a word on this broadcast. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank him for this opportunity. I don't take it lightly. And I promise I won't be in your way very long. Amen. You've heard the text read today. How will you meet the king? That is a question that we want to ask. And it's only you that can give an answer. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody had to answer that question. How will you meet the king? Because it's not a if you will meet the king. It's when you're going to meet him. And when you meet him, how are you going to meet him? Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I want to just... Uh, uh, Say something here that uh, might just drag your attention for a little bit. Yesterday, uh, the world made history. Amen. As we watched the future king, amen, of England, amen, getting married. Hallelujah. 
And I must say, uh, Prince William, if you're watching, and Kate, if you're watching Revival Tower right now, girl, you look hot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Vogue magazine said she was picture perfect. She was the future queen of England. And Vogue said, and when Vogue says it, then she looked good. She looked good. Amen. They said she was almost flawless. Amen. That was the bride of the future king. Praise the Lord. She came out with an attitude. Her smile was great and gorgeous. And I just love her beautiful teeth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And there were some comments that were made about them. And one of the comments was that the monarchy has returned. Amen. And they rode off into the, the, in the evening uh, uh, in a chariot. Hallelujah. Amen. They looked good in that chariot riding off. And my mind started, amen, to wonder when I saw them, you know, amen, as, amen, this elegant uh, 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 royalty as they are uh, over two billion people watched and tuned in. Let me tell you something. Amen. That was just the future king of England. Amen. Two, over two billion people tuned in. Amen. Hallelujah. And I know some of you were watching. Amen. Pray. I was watching too. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. But, but, but one of these days, amen, it's not going to be two billion people watching a future king of England. Amen. It's going to be the entire universe. Amen. They're going to see the king of kings. And the Lord of Lords, when Gabriel sounded the chord and God said, go wake up my children and bring them on home. Hallelujah. We will not be steering from a roadside in London, but somewhere along a street in Spanish town, Jamaica, or Manchester, or St. Elizabeth, or New York City, somewhere somebody is going to say, behold, he comes. Somebody praise the Lord, riding on a cloud. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him who've got an expectation. And I want to tell you, it will not be Prince William. It's going to be Jesus. His name is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the Bible said to me, I shall behold him. I saw people line the streets of England and yesterday all over the country somebody was feeling a royal wedding but I heard Jesus said if I go I'm going to come again somebody ought to praise the Lord and I'm going to receive you unto myself they could not get across the royal palace gate they could not cross over the barriers they could not get close to William and they could not touch Kate but Jesus when he comes when he comes hallelujah when Jesus comes back to reward his people hallelujah somewhere in the crowd hallelujah they're gonna be a six foot three size 13 hallelujah standing somewhere I'm gonna meet him somebody ought to praise the Lord I'm getting ready right now I'm getting myself prepared to meet the king of kings somebody ought to praise him my dress will not be a secret because he said I'm going to dress you in a white robe and I'm going to put on new shoes on your feet I'm going to look more elegant don't worry and don't get discouraged because there's going to be a meeting somewhere in the air hallelujah and when he comes hallelujah the bible tells us in Thessalonians that we shall be changed hallelujah in a moment in the twinkling of an eye somebody ought to praise the lord hallelujah your change is coming 
hallelujah you might look raggedy now I can't buy no clothes your shoes might not be right but get ready for a change get ready for a transformation get ready for a takeover for a Holy Ghost makeover somebody praise the Lord he's gonna make all things new my hands are gonna be new my smile is gonna be brand new my Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down for a minute. Let me see if I can get to this place here. Because the royal wedding steer me up, boy. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw people as they lined up to go through the palace gate, Sister Scully. They had their piece of card and their ticket. And they had to show it to the palace guards. If they did not have a yellow card or a red card to direct them to their seat, they couldn't get in through the palace gate. But all I need when Jesus comes back is the Holy Ghost on the inside. He's my ticket to glory. He's my right to my new home. He's my right to my palace gate. And somewhere there, hallelujah, I shall behold him. The song said, I shall know him. Somebody praise the Lord. As redeemed by his grace, I shall stand. I shall know him. Is there anybody here today who's feeling a glory pull? Who's feeling a tug on your spirit? That knowing that it's soon be done. My prince, my champion, my champion, my lord, my god, my king. When he rides on the cloud, somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He told the apostles as they stood on the Galilean seashore. He said to them, sons, if I go, I'm going to come again. Hallelujah. And while he was talking to them, he just grabbed a hold of one of them clouds that was moving on upward. And he came on out of their side. And he went away. But I heard the song says, not to stay. Somebody touch your neighbor and say, he's coming back. Somebody pray the Lord. He's coming back. Recession can't stop him. Nuclear can't stop him. Earthquake and tornado. Nothing can stop him. He's coming back again. Oh, glory, glory. I could preach right there. But let me share something with you. David had been ostracized as king by his son Solomon. Solomon connived and lied, amen, and told the people that he could be a better king than David. And in the process of time, amen, he got to the throne. Tell somebody, don't rush to the throne if you can't handle the problems. Hallelujah. You see, pastor, and you think it is easy. Lie, cheat, do everything to get to where he's at. And after a while, you can't manage it. Hallelujah. 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 I was in Jamaica doing the political campaign. And one of the uh, uh, infomercials were, hey Amen. Bruce, you can't manage. It, our poor say you can't manage. This is what they, they said. Hallelujah. Say so you can't manage. Hallelujah. Solomon couldn't manage. But he thought he could manage it. And so he worked his way by trickery. And the backery. Lying and conniving. Backstabbing. Amen. To get to the throne. When he finally got there. The word of God told me that after a while he died. manage it. If you think you can manage my prayers, come stand up in my, stand in my shoes. Hallelujah. If you think you can manage my praise, amen, come sit where I sit. Because I'm fighting demons and devils. I'm fighting sorcerers. I'm fighting witchcraft workers. 
I'm fighting no job. I'm fighting a trifling husband, a trifling single life. And my body is mashing up. I'm fighting with that too. I'm fighting. I am fighting. But I heard that Paul said it. Fight the good fight. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The good fight of faith. So that you may lay hold. Somebody say I'm grabbing a hold of eternal life. It's in my reach. It's in my grasp. When you got it, you got it. Hold on. Child of God. Don't move. Don't be moved. Look at somebody and say I shall not be moved. But just like a tree. manage it and he died and the bible tells me that david somebody said a real king just sitting aside for the devil to just move out of your place some things you know child of god you don't have to fight for it look at somebody say what is mine can I say it good? What is for me? God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, I me, praise that. Good God Almighty. Look at somebody and tell him, that's my victory. That's my anointing. That's my joy. Hallelujah. And I'm not giving it up. It cost me too much to get my joy. Hallelujah. It cost me too much to get my victory. And I can sing with a song today. It took me a while to be able to sing it right. But now I can say, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Joy is mine. It's mine. It's mine, 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 mine. Jesus is mine. I get weary, but it's mine when I'm weary. I get jerry, but it's mine when I'm jerry. Mine, mine, mine. Jesus, somebody call his name. Somebody shout his name. His name brings joy. His name brings hope. His name brings anointing. His name brings deliverance. His name brings favor. Come on, taxi driver. Shout Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Bus man. Yes, he saves. Come on, somebody. If you're cooking in your house, shout Jesus saves. Throw up your hand and say, Jesus, keep me near the cross, near the precious fountain. It's free towards the healing stream. Hallelujah. It flows. Somebody praise the Lord. Sit down for a minute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I might look like I can't go down. Amen to Bank of Nova Scotia or NCB. But tell somebody, I've got an account in glory. Somebody praise the Lord. I'm storing up treasures in heaven. Because one of these days, hallelujah, when I get my new shoes on, when Jesus changes my leather into gold, somebody praise the Lord. And when I walk down on the streets of gold, he ain't going to take me to no balcony like Prince William took Kate. He's not going to take me to kiss me. He's going to hold me and say, welcome home. Welcome to your new place. Somebody praise the Lord. You might be living in an apartment now, but some sweet day, some sweet day, when Jesus comes, ah, I'm going to move. I'm going to change my address. Hallelujah. It's going to be a glory zip code. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your mansion is awaiting. 
And sometimes because you are poor, you might feel that you ain't got none. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said the poor is always with me. So thank God for that. So now we see some people. Now, when he was leaving, David had to hide and run away. They mocked him, jeered him, scorned him, ridiculed him, ostracized him, and made him feel like he was the greatest nobody that has ever been created. But David sat down over across Jordan. That's where you need to be, across Jordan. You need to sit over across Jordan because you need help to cross Jordan. You can't cross Jordan alone. Hallelujah. And David was away for a little while, Bishop. And when he was on his way back, praise the Lord. The Bible tells me, so the king returned. Look at somebody and say, the king is coming back hallelujah don't get discouraged hallelujah along your way way because the king is coming back and the bible said he came to jordan somebody ought to bless the lord and while he stood on the banks of jordan the word of god said the first people who came to meet him was judah you know judah means praise somebody praise the lord there is going to be a praise that awaits the king when he returns in glory and i am gonna be one of the praise team Somebody praise the Lord when the king came to Jordan. Praise waited for thee, O Lord, in Zion and unto thee. Shall I slap yourself with the eye? I'm gonna praise him. I am gonna worship him. Praise the Lord. was waiting to conduct have you ever seen a conductor praise was waiting to conduct the king back across Jordan I wish I had some time somebody shoot Archer for me God Almighty. Amen. He got a 15 on me. Amen. Then the next one that came was Shimei. And if you know who Shimei was, he was a low down dirty dog. You see, people who are just waiting to see you fall so as to rejoice. Low down. Waiting to see you fall. Low down. Dirty dogs. Shimei was one of them. When David had to run away from the throne, the Bible said, Shimei, he cursed him. He kicked up dust in the ear. He called him wordless. He called him everything but a child of God. He cussed him to his face. Can you imagine? They ridiculed the king. But look at somebody and say the king is coming back. Hallelujah. Shimei came out to meet him. The word said he was a Benjamin which was a Barham. The word said when he heard David was coming, he hastened. Child of God, stay safe. Your enemy is going to run back. 
because you're coming back in glory when God changes you when God shifts somebody says shift when God shifts some something out of your way somebody said sight God God Almighty when I was coming them to slip you fool God God Almighty I feel like a child of God could just sign something hallelujah somebody ought to praise him because the devil is after you somebody praise the Lord but he can't catch me no more hallelujah when the devil could have killed me when I wasn't a preacher he couldn't handle me somebody pray look at somebody and say you're not here by chance Look at somebody and say, I'm a fighter. Tell them I was fighting from I was in the womb. You should have been there when I kicked my mother. Because I just feel she was going to bother me. So I just... As a matter of fact, I was fighting before that. When my daddy cohabited with my mother. Over six billion sperm came out six billion of us and me make it <laughs> i fought six billion in darkness because my daddy didn't turn the light on somebody praise the lord hallelujah i fight six billion of my brothers and sisters and i flash them out because i was in the stream and i heard the song came over it's just one of you and i said i'm gonna make it hallelujah hallelujah and if you know about the reproductive process right around the womb there's some acidic liquid that will kill the sperm it kill every one of my brothers hallelujah but i fight the liquid and i made it somebody pray the lord i made it to the uterus it was dark in there hallelujah tell somebody i'm not afraid of darkness i spent nine months in my mother's womb it was dark like hell but i made it in there tell somebody i'm not afraid of water i spent nine months in my mother's womb swimming like a fish you can't drown me you can't kill me hallelujah i was destined to see jesus hallelujah and i'm nothing is gonna keep me back somebody shout glory hallelujah i'm destined for a place called glory i'm destined for a mansion in the sky i'm destined to walk on street of gold i'm destined to eat of the tree of life i'm destined to sing an angelic choir tell somebody it ain't over please be seated please be seated <laughs> but the bible said he hastened Jimmy, I hasten he hastened to see David hallelujah and the first thing he did when he came to David he said don't kill me I beg you not to kill me and one of the words he used should be a warning to some people who fight against the child of God he said I acted like a fool he said I acted like a fool hallelujah he was repenting because now the king is back hallelujah and don't you know that the Bible said preacher man when Jesus come back he's coming back with a reward somebody pray the Lord to pay every man according as his work shall be look at somebody and say payday is coming somebody praise the Lord tell them somebody else I'm gonna have paid back but before my payback there's gonna be a playback somebody praise the Lord hallelujah and my name will come
come up before God. Somebody pray the Lord. The Bible said, vengeance is mine. My God, my little minutes are running out. And I feel like I'm on Digicel. Get off me. My minutes are going fast. Hallelujah. Amen. And he came down. Amen. With the men of Judah. You see, my enemy now joined with the praise team. Because he joined with Judah. Amen. To welcome me back. Don't worry about your trifling enemies. They're going to join. Amen. To welcome you. Good God Almighty. I can't wait until the favor starts flowing. Somebody praise the Lord. Because when my favor day arrives, it's just hoovering in the air. It has been assigned to my address. Look at somebody say, my favor has flavor. It has been assigned to my address. God knows where you live. He knows your full name. Raphael Catuel Abigail. I don't care if your name is Joanna Rowan. God knows your name. And he has an anointing. He has a blessing. Your deliverance has been delivered. Somebody praise the Lord. All you got to do come out with a Judah praise and a radical worship and said I'm taking back. Give me back my children. Give me back my scepter. Give me back my wife. Give me back my anointing. Put on back my shoes. Get the servants out. The king is in the house. And shimmy, I got to bow. Somebody praise him. Verse 19, verse 17. It says, And there were a thousand men of Benjamin with him, and Ziba, the servant of the house of Saul, and his fifteen sons, and twenty servants with him, and they went over before the king. Everybody coming to meet the king. Somebody praise the Lord. If you know who Zeba was, he was a hypocrite, a conniving, racketeering, backbiting crook. Hallelujah. Amen. That was Zeba. What did this awful culprit do? Mephibosheth was the rightly owner to the throne and the properties of Saul. And when David was ostracized from the throne, Ziba connived, mashed down poor crippled Mephibosheth. God, God Almighty. Look at somebody say, just because my car walks straight, it don't mean that God is not looking out for me. I might be limping along the way. Hallelujah. And the thing affected poor Mephibah said so bad. The Bible said from David left. He never washed his face. Never had a shower. Never changed his clothes. The poor boy went into depression. All because of wicked Zeba. I wish I could preach about that crook. There's a Zeba sitting on your own. Hallelujah. But say, tell him, you're going to come praise me one day. You're going to come worship God with me one day you and all of your pitney them all of your 25 grand pitney every one of them that you lied to on me they're going to find out that you are the wicked crook somebody praise the lord and it came back one to soften up king david i got four minutes amen to quitting time somebody praise the lord I wanted to tell you some more about this boy Ziba. And the Bible tells me also that Mephibosheth, the son of Saul, came down also to meet the king. Somebody say, you're going to meet the king. You're going to meet the king. Whether you smell good, are you bathed, are you uncomped, or whatever. And he said, and neither dressed his feet, nor trimmed his beard, nor washed his clothes from the day the king departed. Until David came back. There was another guy named Barzillai, the Gileadite. 
God, I wish I could tell you about my favorite shit, my time. Came down from Rajalim and he went over Jordan to meet with the king to conduct him over Jordan. Lord Jesus, have mercy. But our uh, Barzillia was an old man. Oh God Almighty. Even though he was 80 years old, he was still a worshiper. He was still a praiser. He was still giving God glory. Went to meet the king with a praise on his heart, with a worship on his mind. Look at somebody and say, I'm old, but I'm not cold. And I won't fold because I'm bold. And I'm sold to the king of kings. And I'm going to make it. Look at stand to your feet. Get your anointing on. Shout out. I'm going to meet the king. Hallelujah. I'm going to meet the king. I've got to meet him holy. I've got to meet him pure. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together on revival time. What a word, what a word. Our time is gone and revival time for this week. We're so glad you could have joined us for revival time. Our friends in Orlando, Florida, and Boston, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and New York. We know you've been watching us all around the globe. God bless you. We love you. Remember to write us this week here at Revival Time and tell us what Revival Time is doing in your life. Remember, for you, we are praying. So be praying for us until next week at the same time to the facilities of our fine station that releases Revival Time, your direction, your radio pastor on behalf of Revival Time ministers and the Revival Time family, our technicians and everybody here at Revival Time. Remember, it's time to get ready to meet the King. <laughs>